Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I am from thesupportzone.com and the purpose of thesupportzone.com is to offer bookkeeping services to small business owners or to the small families who want to track their financials in a proper way or with the help of any software. I am an expert in Quicken so I can help you with Quicken software. So with the help of today's video, as you saw the title, we are going to see how we can move Quicken from one computer to the another computer without using any external drive or a pen drive, okay, or a stick if we say. We are going to use a cloud platform today in order to move the Quicken from one computer to the another one. So let's quickly go ahead and dive into the video. So let me go ahead and open Quicken for First, in order to make sure that I am ready with the information, I mean just for the safer side, this is my suggestion to you. If you are planning to move Quicken from one computer to the another computer, please do create a backup first, okay? That will be very much safer for you in order to move the data before moving the data to the new computer. So in order to create a backup first, go to file menu, then go to copy or backup file and create a complete backup. Okay, I just click on next and this is my default location. Okay, so I will just click on save backup. Okay, it will gonna quickly create a backup file. As you can see, it says quick and data file backed up successfully. All right, so the backup has been made, but what I really want to do now, I want uh, to do one thing here. As I created this backup, you can see this is the backup that I just created. Okay, it is the date of today. So what I really want, I want to put this data onto a cloud platform called as Dropbox. I hope you know this thing. Quicken offers free 5 GB space of Dropbox when you are purchasing Quicken from quicken.com. Okay, let me go ahead and quickly go ahead and log into my Dropbox account. Okay, let me close this things okay all right perfect and uh, okay i will not going to save any information over the browsers okay as you can see now i am logged into my to my dropbox account so what i really want i want to upload that backup that i just created a few minutes ago you can see here so let's quickly go ahead and open this one okay i mean upload this one this is the backup that i just created few minutes ago and i just uploading it okay it has been uploaded you can see upload successful and the reason why it did it quickly because you can see it here the size of my data file is very small it is only two megabytes so that's why it did not took a long time okay so let's go ahead and exit out or log out from here and then let's quickly go ahead and go back to quicken there is no need of any information at this moment on this computer let me go ahead and show you second computer where i will continue to use quicken from this computer okay i'm left out this computer behind assuming I'm going to start with a new computer so let me take you to the new computer and I will show you how you can get the things set up on a new computer with your quick answer okay so uh, let's go ahead and dive into the new computer all right everyone i am on to the second monitor now okay on this monitor uh like i'm on the second computer if i say this is my old laptop i'm really sorry if you are getting some technical issues with the voice at the moment but uh, yes i'm not using it but just to show the video for this video tutorial i am just opening it up on the after a long time okay so let me go ahead and show you how we are going to set up quicken with the same data file on this this computer okay so first let me go ahead and open the browser window and go to quicken.com because the first uh, thing that we need to do is to how to download and install quicken on this computer okay i have already created a one video in the past to show how quicken or you can say how you can download and install quicken on your computer so the link of that video is also mentioned in the below description box you can check that out in order to see how you can install Quicken on your computer. So let me go ahead and enter this information in. Okay. So in order to download Quicken, I need to log into my Quicken account. So just give me one second here. Let me check it. All right. It says it is not a correct 
password so let me quickly go ahead and check the password here just give me one second all right guys i just uh, reset the password uh for my quicken account i was not sure about the password i'm sorry about that but uh, okay so they are going to send a code uh, now uh, to our registered phone number so let me go ahead and quickly pull it up and enter the code here all right perfect let me click on submit and here it is trying to log in now so i am logging to my quicken account i would like to take you to the very bottom on the screen here on this window okay and uh, i'm using quicken okay classic that is my product that i'm using and i'm using for windows so i'm just gonna click on quick in for windows here and it will going to start to download on this computer as you can see one more thing here uh like a couple of months ago one of my client was moving from windows to mac so he thought uh he has to purchase quicken for mac separately no there was a time back in the days when users needs to purchase quicken separately but now like as you are as you are a quicken user when you pay quicken for windows or quicken for mac you are going to get the another version uh, as a complimentary as well from quicken itself let's say i purchased quicken classic for windows along with that they are going to provide me quicken for mac as well so in the near future if i will going to move my operating system from windows to mac so i can move the data easily in the near uh like in the upcoming videos i will show you how you can like convert your windows uh quicken for windows data into quicken for mac so you will be able to understand how it really works okay so you can see quicken is downloaded on this computer let me quickly go ahead and install it on this computer now and as i said created a video um like how you can download and install it you can see that video and the link of the video is mentioned in the description box below okay let me click on yes here we go perfect okay in the meantime quicken is getting installed let me go ahead and log into the dropbox account okay where i created my you can say quicken file backup so i would be able to run the same quicken data file on this computer without any trouble and the purpose why i did choose dropbox because it comes up with a complimentary free space when you make a purchase for quicken you will going to get a complete a uh, complimentary 5 gb of free space on dropbox okay second thing uh, nowadays people are not really handy uh, that's what i really observed sometimes it has been observed that they are uh, like my clients are not really handy with the you can say thumbstick so i thought when i am gonna create a video i will gonna not use that option i will simply suggest cloud platform so dropbox is one of the platforms that i'm using on this video to show you how you can move the data from one computer to the second computer okay so let me quickly go ahead and uh, log into my account here just give me one second and uh, quicken is also getting installed here yep it is getting installed it says not responding but i know it will going to work it really happens because my computer is old so that could be one of the reason i am getting this notification at the moment okay so let me enter my email here which is registered with quicken or uh, if i say like uh, with dropbox all right let me go ahead and enter the let me click on continue here and uh, let me go ahead and enter the password in perfect i just entered the password and uh, let me click on not now i do not want to save any passwords on the browser so here we go it is going to log in let's wait for this one okay so i am logged in to my dropbox account so as i had uploaded my data file from the old computer into the dropbox account the same file i need to download here on this computer assuming this is my new computer so let me quickly go ahead and show you how you will be able to do that just give me one second here as i said my this is my old uh, laptop that i'm using it just to show the video how it will gonna work so let's quickly wait for this one to get complete i mean logged in properly all right so here we go it is here you see now on the main home page itself skip it you can see it here here this is the file that i 
like uploaded so what i will do i will just click on these three dots and uh, there it is an option to download so i will click on this to download and it will gonna show us at the top right side once it is downloaded let's wait for this one you can see it is downloaded now all right so let me go ahead and close the browser window as far i know like quicken is installed my data file is downloaded like not a data file the data file backup is downloaded and here you can see quicken is getting installed it generally does not take this long but uh, i'm sorry to repeat myself again but as this is an old laptop it is taking some time to install on this computer so let's wait for this one once the quicken is installed on this computer i will be right back to you as you can see quicken is installed let me click on next and let me click on install i mean it was downloaded and it is getting installed now let's wait for this one to get it completed or it will gonna take only a minute or two to get this installation done okay as you can see it is going on a little bit fast a minute or two but uh, let's wait for this one at this moment and also in case you are looking for some kind of a quicken or a quickbooks bookkeeping help please do contact me my contact information is mentioned below my phone number email address and my website as well in case i'm not available on the phone call drop me an email and wait for the response i generally do reply to the emails uh, as soon as possible and uh, in case you do not receive a reply really soon just give me a call on the provided phone number which i mentioned in the description and afterward you can dial that number if i'm busy with the other client your call may get missed i really apologize for that but you can drop me a voicemail all right so you can see quicken is installed okay and uh, it will going to be get open in a quick second here you can see it is getting open up so let's wait for this one to pull up completely all right as you can see now my quicken is ready here i mean quicken window we just need to log into the quicken account in order to uh like we need to log into the quicken first okay here as you can see now it is going to be logged in okay so let me quickly go ahead and enter the email address which is registered to my quicken account here we go and uh, let me go ahead and enter this one in and uh, let me enter the password in all right and uh, let's wait for this one okay they are asking for the six digit code let me go ahead and pull that up and enter that in here and uh, just give me one second okay so let me okay i just got it on my text message and here let me go ahead and put that one in all right so as you can see they are setting up quicken on this laptop on this computer i am using quicken for the very first time so that's why it is like uh, considering like this okay there are two options that i'm getting at the moment i'm new to quicken or i have used quicken before i will gonna choose the second option because the second option will going to show us how we are going to restore the data file that we backed up from the first computer so i just clicked on this one and there is a second option here restore a data file i have backed up on an external drive or online location okay created a backup i uploaded the backup on the dropbox account then i downloaded it on this computer and it will be into the download so let me quickly go ahead and pull that up from here here we go and uh, we have it over here under the downloads okay and let me go ahead and uh, open this one up there we are and uh, let me yes okay says file has been restored successfully let me go ahead and show you how it will going to look like it may gonna ask us to log in to quicken again but let's see which window it will going to show us now because i have seen this thing in the past while working with the clients that uh, quicken generally asks our users to log into their quicken account for log into the or before restoring it to the quicken file okay perfect it did not ask us uh, so you can just i'm gonna just skip this tutorial uh, which they are going to show us okay like this something okay you can see it here like here quicken has been transferred successfully all of my accounts and the balances are here and everything seems to be okay for me at this moment so this is how you can move quicken from one computer to the second computer okay so let me take you back to the first monitor again all right guys i'm back to the main computer now okay so, so the purpose of this video was to show you how you can move the quicken from one computer to the another computer hope 
you may have uh, learned something from this video. In case you really wanted me to help you with this process from moving Quicken from one computer to the another, I can really happy to help you with that. Along with that, if you're looking for some kind of a bookkeeping service or a bookkeeping help related to your Quicken finances or QuickBooks finances, you can contact me anytime and I will be there for you. This is my website, okay? You can visit on this website and you can contact me or like you can fill up the contact information over there. This is my direct phone number. You can contact me on this number. In case I'm not available, just drop a voicemail on it and I will contact you as early as possible. And this is my email address. You can drop me an email on this email and I will be there to respond to you back. And uh, so that was it for this video. In case you have any doubts or any questions related to this video, just drop a comment below and I will be there to reply as soon as possible. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye.